While dirty cut pores are fun and can produce interesting results, sometimes having more control over how paint is applied can be useful. For those cases, a cup divided into separate paint holding areas can help. Let's see how this three compartment cup works. With this pour, I'm using a Lazy Susan turntable and an armrest to hopefully create a more even pour. It starts off looking pretty good with some attractive feathering. Let's speed things up to save some time. Unfortunately, it looks like the feathering got compressed as the flow moved outward, and tilting wiped it out almost completely. Let's try it again. This time I'm going for a reverse ring pour, where the pour starts on the outside and works its way inward. Even speeded up, it's easy to see this is preserving more of the fine detail. The only question is, will this detail survive tilting? And while this certainly isn't going to be classed as a great work of art, the answer appears to be yes. Using the same type of cup, plastic stencil sheet, and epoxy used for the first cup, I made this five-segment cup for something I call an Eye of Sauron pour, because the intended result is supposed to look like the Eye of Sauron from the Fellowship of the Rings movie trilogy. It's a tilted canvas pour using a kitchen drawer to help keep the pour even. The center of the canvas was left dry to slow down the spread of the design. By not prepping the center with black paint and using the divided cup to reduce cross flow between the different colors, I'm hoping to avoid the graying out of the red and white by black paint flowing under them. It looks like it's going pretty good. I won't be tilting it in an effort to preserve the center design, which, because the paint is so thick, tends to spread all by itself. I'll be careful to make sure it dries flat and level. Unfortunately, even with all those precautions, the paint still spread so much, the intended design was lost. Oh well, back to the drawing board. My next video will be about using oil to create cells of color in the painting. Until then, I hope you'll stop by my main website for many other projects. For example, do you know what happens when a black light is shined on Jelly Belly Jelly Beans? Check it out! Thanks again for watching.